What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding. In this video today, we're discussing Nick Walker versus Big Rami, third and fifth place from the 2022 Mr. Olympia. We've got some HD footage courtesy of Gilco Productions, and I go pose by pose and break down who I had winning each pose and who I had winning overall. So we've got all that plus much more coming up in this video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding. Now let's get straight into this one. So we're comparing Big Rami on the left to Nick Walker on the right. This footage is courtesy of Gilco Productions as well. This dude does an amazing job. Like the quality of all the footage is next level. And it gives me, as a reporter on YouTube, better ability to actually assess these guys. If you want to check his Instagram out, the link is in the description below as well. So let's get to comparing these guys and um, yeah, breaking it down because we've got some footage of these guys side by side where they're actually side by side on stage but the footage isn't directly straight front on so i think we get a better comparison actually looking at this footage but we'll look at both uh regardless just to get the best idea of who we have winning out of these two and obviously for reference as well nick walker on the right he placed third at this contest and big rami on the left placed fifth obviously falling after winning the last two mr olympias in the years prior so let's get into it and let's go pose by pose in this one so let's move into the front double bicep. And on this pose, so we'll start with the sort of a vacuum version of this pose for both guys because they both also crunch down on this one as well. But in the vacuum version, I would say, you know, in terms of the actual structure, like when you cut Rami off from the bottom of his lats upward, you go, that's a pretty damn good pose. But he's a little bit maybe softer through the midsection, although he's pulling it up into a pretty decent vacuum. Um, but with the quads, you know, there is obviously they're fading a bit. There are the quad holes there. I don't know how much of a factor they are, but let's look at Nick Walker. Nick Walker obviously has the absolutely insane, ridiculous biceps. The arms overall are definitely bigger than Rami's there. And that's impressive as well because of his height. Like normally if you're a tall guy, your arms will measure bigger. I've got to imagine that Nick Walker's now are definitely measuring bigger than big Rami, so that's for sure. I think I heard that Nick Walker actually said, his arms are 24 inches. I don't know if that's pumped or what, but that's that's Ronnie Coleman's size, which is absolutely insane on Nick Walker's height. So um, absolutely ridiculous. But Nick Walker, not the smallest through the midsection. So the taper isn't as crazy, but the way he hits that pose and the fact that he's got big arms, if you've got a slightly wider hip structure, you have to sort of have big arms, especially if you're not the tallest guy and he has that. So this pose overall looks pretty damn impressive. The quads aren't crazy. It's not the most aesthetic legs, but overall, I think that Nick Walker wins that pose. And when they crunch down into it, that's when I definitely have Nick Walker winning it. Now, they're both not the most prettiest physiques, even when we hit this pose, but I think Nick Walker just looks that much more impressive. And Rami actually looks a bit messier when he goes down and hits that uh, front double bicep like that. So I definitely prefer it on Nick Walker. And now the front lat spread. Now, Nick actually doesn't hit one. I'm not sure who I'd have winning this one. We'll look at the side-by-side -side comparisons a little bit more later for that. Nick's hitting the most muscular load, which Rami actually doesn't hit in the individual walkout. So Nick looks, I think, more impressive on that most muscular than Rami looks on the lat spread. Now, I think we're moving to a side chest here. Yep. On this one, upper body wise, I have a clear win there for Nick Walker. He's just too thick. Like Rami looks incredibly downsized. And I didn't notice this as much in the live stream. But looking at this now, it's like his upper body is so much more slight than years prior. And Rami is meant to be his all time biggest of this contest. So I don't know what happened. There was speculation I saw on RX Muscle that he might have just over diuretic and that might be the case as well because he does look incredibly flat compared to what he looked like a week out and especially several weeks out where he's still pretty damn hard as well. So Nick walks too thick there, although the side leg of Rami's is still crazy and so he definitely wins from the waist down, but overall I have Nick Walker winning that one as well. Now we move into the side tricep and on this one, I have another win for Nick Walker and the side tricep was never Nick Walker's strongest pose. But I thought this was actually one shot that got a lot better on Nick Walker this year. He's pulled his waist in, especially on that shot. And the waist looks really good. The side leg looks good. It's not as, I suppose, cut out. And it doesn't have the deepest separation between like the glute, the ham and the quad like Rami has. But it's still good enough and it's still hard enough and impressive enough with that pop to his upper body. And you look at the way his abs look compared to big Rami's, it's just absolute night and day difference. So that one, I have... For Nick Walker once again. Now, some of these poses are close, but 
that one for me was a clear win for Nick Walker. Now, as we head into the back double bicep, they go into it. And this is the one where Rami, you know, they talk about his lats not actually opening up. And as you can see, Rami has the thickness there, but his lower lats are gone, which Nick Walker has, and his lats aren't popping out. And there's like divots almost into his lats. Now, is it nerve damage? Is it something else? Is it, has he put shots in his lats? What has actually happened? Are they trying to hit the pose different? I don't know what's happening on that shot. And Rami's arms are noticeably downsized too. So the back double bicep, that is the clearest win. And Rami has also uh, those sort of, that swelling on the glutes as well, which does not look good, especially with a tan. It's like they almost tried to tan it darker. And then that's actually made it look almost more obvious, I think. Now on the rear lat spread, Nick's opening that up well, but this one's maybe a little bit closer because I think the quad shots is maybe what loses it for Big Rami. And when you look at Big Rami's lats, they're not perfectly going outwards i think there's some sort of injury there there's nerve damage or there's been shots put in there because then they're, they're not 100 percent. and when we see some other footage as well in this video i um, mean actually see it now on the screen when he's hitting that shot there you can see the quad holes and you can also see when you really look closely the lats do have like an issue like there's some bumps on there or something it just doesn't look right and maybe it's to avoid you know where they've shot other body parts like the quads and like the glutes now and like everything else. So it's, um, yeah, it's very interesting. And they're all the shots that we have in terms of comparisons between these two guys. But um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Who would you have winning this one? And uh, we're actually going to go through this footage as well. And this was uh, the footage put up by Gilco Productions just recently. And it's really, really cool because you get to see it all in really high def footage. Now you can see sort of from a different perspective, but Big Rami has the advantage because the footage is from these guys from the side of the first call out. And that gives them, you know, Nick Walker on the outside, a clear disadvantage. So you can just sort of go through it and see. And I think you get more of an advantage for Rami here, but you can still see overall, if you were a judge looking at this, you can sort of sort of put it in perspective that Nick Walker's further away. And in person, I think you get a better perspective of that. And you can still see Nick Walker is so much more thickly muscled on that side chest than big Rami. And that's why Nick Walker was in third place. And I thought mostly it was because of the issues with the body parts to Big Rami as to why he slipped, but he clearly wasn't as big as prior years. And we were sort of promised an all-time big, big Rami. Plus you add the issues with the quads, with the glutes, with the back, as you can see right now, it just sort of is a recipe for disaster for Big Rami. So I think that's why Big Rami lost the 2022 Mr. Olympia. There were several reasons and that's why he slipped two fifth place and he could have even slipped further as well and he could have even slipped further as well but let me know what you think in the comments below who would you have had placing higher between nick walker and big rami at the 2022 mr olympia do you disagree with me having nick walker win all the poses at least what we saw here maybe on some of these other shots i'd have big rami winning him but we didn't get to see every shot potentially the front lat spread would have been one where i had big rami beating nick walker but i'm still not 100 percent convinced on that as well Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this one. If you guys like and appreciate this content, please give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for myself, Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding. We are out.